Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your ROSS General Surgery Faculty, and it's my privilege to introduce Dr. Nirmal Raj to all of you. So Dr. Nirmal is an undergraduate from Ames Delhi and a postgraduate from PGI Chandigarh, and he secured rank three and he'll be joining breast and endocrine surgery. Dr. Nirmal, how does it feel? Yes, sir. It feels good. It, it feels great. Uh, to be honest, I feel relieved also at the end of uh, this preparation and securing a rank. So, Dr. Nirmal, I want to share this for the benefit of others who are preparing, not only for SS, but also for PG and other entrance exams. You missed uh, this seat last time by, you said, a one mark. How does one motivate themselves to, you know, give it one more shot to wait for one year and to prepare again? Can you share some pointers there? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, um... The most important thing I would say, I would think is, sir, uh, it's like passion towards the subject. So uh, once you have that clarity of thought in your mind, and uh, if you're focused on the subject, you know, you know exactly what you want. Then I think that helps you a lot uh, in pushing you for that excess uh, step which you're required. So that helped me a lot. Uh, and and other than that, I. Feel I should I think I feel we should be in our own zone. We shouldn't be comparing ourselves to other people. Like, uh, it's, it's it's a race. Uh, it's generally a race with all these competitive examinations. But I think if we keep a mentality that uh, we are in a race of our own, so that sometimes helps uh, in calming the mind and just being composed. So, yeah, so this, those are great tips for everyone to learn from you. So, Dr. Nirmal, um, you were a narrow SS uh, user. When did you start mm -hmm. using the platform? And can you uh, share your views regarding the videos and the uh, questions? Sir, I used, I started using Marrow uh, one year back uh, after, like, along with my final year, towards the end of my MS final year examinations, I subscribed it uh, 20, 2022 July, around at that period. So. I used to watch uh, the videos as I um, read the read the basic textbooks, Sabiston, Bailey, and Schwartz. So uh, I read the textbooks and I went through the videos. Uh, that helped me clarify the uh, doubts and also it helped in revision, kind of a revision through the uh, parts which is given in the text. And uh, the question banks were also really helpful. So. Uh, uh, which which the questions which I found uh, difficult or tough or like I found which might be useful I used to bookmark them and review them later on and uh, and uh, the the revision videos which are given in the uh, in the in the app it's a it's a great help because it helps you for a rapid revision that proved to be a like great help towards the end last minute preparation so all in all I. I'm, I owe a lot to the uh, Maro and Rohan sir. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Nirmal, in final year, did you watch any of the specialty videos as well? Uh, sir, uh, no, not in final year, uh, not in final year, sir. Because uh, final year, uh, to be frank, MS was a pretty hectic, sir. Uh, so, uh, during that period of time, I couldn't keep up with the MCH preparations uh, at PGA. So. Uh, but yes, uh, I did. Uh, I did. I, I did read the textbooks uh, thoroughly for the MS final exams, so that mm -hmm. helped me in picking up where it was and um, just continuing with the MCQ orientation. Yes. So this was a question which I asked another topper yesterday as well. The preparation for NEET SS and INISS is very different. So. Yes. Um, what would be your tips to a student who wants to do MCH? Uh, one student who has absolute clarity regarding the branch and one student who doesn't have clarity which branch he wants to do. What would be your tips to both these uh, types of students? So if, uh, if one has got uh, a good clarity, I think uh, what he wants, if he has got the branch in mind, then uh, it, it becomes really easy for the INI. Uh, so uh, just target. We are pretty clear on what we want uh, to achieve and uh, what is the target. We know the number of seats and we know the college. Uh, so once that is there in mind, I think a focused, very focused preparation uh, with uh, a, a great focus on the specialty subject easily crack the INI because 
fifty uh, questions are from the specialty topics, and the thirty from the general surgery part. I think uh, if you have done if you have done good in our MS final year uh, exams, I think that is more than enough. And the basic uh, Bailey is more than enough for the the general part in I and I. So for those who are clear, those who are clear uh, regarding their future branch, I think it is uh, of great help. But if uh, someone is not clear, uh, someone who does not have a clarity is confused, then I think uh, they have uh, they'll obviously have a difficulty. Actually, uh, um, in need you have we have obviously we have this uh, advantage of. Writing the exam and then uh, choosing the branch. So uh, for NEET, I think, sir, um, Bailey and standard textbooks are, uh, are more than enough, sir. Uh, I, I I had given a NEET uh, like November 2022 NEET I have given, but I was not prepared that time. Uh, I I gave it like just to get a, get to know the uh, exam and, and I was uh, constantly I was focusing on I and I. So uh, uh, with that experience of NEET, I thought um, if we if we if we have a good hold of uh, Bailey, uh, but it it has to be comprehensive. You can't uh, focus. It has to be uh, because questions in NEET comes from uh, every part. So if if you don't have that comprehensive knowledge, uh, you can't crack the NEET. But uh, you need not have a very deep knowledge like INI where they ask from specialty textbooks. So I think that right. uh, will be. So another question regarding breast and endocrine. What are the books which you would recommend future aspirants to read if they want to prepare for breast and endocrine MCH? Yes, uh, breast and endocrine surgery. Apart from the uh, the three standard textbooks, Bailey, Shorts, and Sabiston, uh, I uh, I have gone through uh, Orlo and Clark for uh, this endocrine sir. All the I had actually got the textbook. So um, all the three, all the four. Uh, uh, endocrine uh, um, parts I had read from the Orlo and Clark book. So I would recommend that uh, they strictly go through because a lot of questions uh, in the INI, they were direct one-liners from Orlo and Clark, uh, especially uh, the parathyroid and the um, thyroid uh, anatomy, physiology, and uh, anatomy part, embryology part, surgically, uh, embryology of surgical importance. All those uh, points, uh, they were asked. I have first-hand experience. So, um, breast for breast, sir, I actually did not refer any uh, separate book. The shorts uh, was pretty elaborate on the breast. So, uh, and the new Bailey, which has an updated breast uh, topic from the AIMS team. So, that uh, I focused this time, but uh, unfortunately, the, the no questions came from that particular topic. Uh, hopefully, in the next coming exam, they will ask from that definitely. So, other than that, sir, uh, the, the the classes which I had in PGI, the the slides, uh, the regular academics, that was enough for breast. Sir. And uh, I would say, uh, NCCN uh, breast is uh, right. much much must uh, go through. You should be knowing. You, sh uh, you should get it printed and then revise it as frequent as possible, so that uh, scenario based questions can be uh, like approached with a good clarity and uh, correct approach. Sir. Coming to the interview part, what were the type of scenarios or questions which were asked in the breast and endocrine interview? Uh, yes, sir. the interview was uh, mainly focused on uh, clinical-based uh, scenarios. Uh, they didn't ask any uh, core theory questions because that was uh, done with the exam. So it was more like an OPD approach questions, like uh, uh, for example, in a breast, uh, like uh, nipple discharge and uh, uh, such questions were asked. Clinical scenarios. Uh, then uh, uh, standard guidelines like scenarios based on standard guidelines like for example uh, ATA guidelines in thyroid so uh, mm -hmm. uh, those questions were asked uh, and also they asked uh, they, they asked some basic questions uh, with respect to endocrine part pheochromocytomas and uh, men's syndromes all those topics were covered it was a comprehensive uh, uh, part so questions were asked from all the uh, endocrine part but it was basic if you have a good uh, clinical knowledge, then I think we can uh, answer. Sir. And were mammographies and specimens, uh, were they also asked? Uh, no, 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 sir. No images were, uh, spotters were not there. Uh, particularly. Okay. Okay. And did they ask about oncoplastic techniques? Uh, sir, uh, they 
yeah they did ask about ongoplastic technique sir uh, but it was not deep sir but uh, hmm. because, uh, focused much on theory this time in the mcqs part we had lot of ongoplastic questions sir in breast right perfect so thank you for taking out time dr nirmal and sharing all these views with us i think so it's going to be very helpful like you said this is a relatively new branch so students are also getting to know more about it and uh, fr uh, insights from you would definitely be helpful for them uh, to choose and to prepare for this branch uh, before we end the interview any parting thoughts uh, for uh, the future aspirants uh sir uh, i would say sir um, if you have uh, you have to have the clarity sir first of all the branch clarity is a must uh, if you keep on uh, if, if you are having a confusion regarding which branch to take then the focus will be lost and if you have that uh, target in your mind then i think uh it is uh, pretty much achievable and the most important thing is revision revision uh, i can't stress more because you I, if in my experience i have had the experience uh, reading a topic like i might have read it thoroughly but uh, just uh, like two weeks uh, after or like one month after uh, you completely lost touch of it so uh, just before the exams uh, like one or two weeks before the exams a rapid revision like one or two times is a very must so if you have that uh, personalized notes or beat marrow videos or uh, textbooks if you keep small short notes uh, in the sticky notes so that all helped me a lot uh, the revision is the most important thing sir that's how i feel that's great so thank you for sharing these tips and uh, we wish you all the best uh, dr nepal best wishes thank, thank you much thank you thanks